This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to continue to discuss working with objects and text so they work together. If you'd like to follow along, go under the File menu to Open, and in the Sample Files folder, scroll down to 0902. Get all wrapped up in text wraps, part one, and just click open. Let's start with a review of the basics before we jump into the advanced features of text wraps. Why don't we start by selecting the object that says wrap any object and go to the text wrap panel. The second button from the left is wrap around bounding box, and if I choose that, it's going to wrap the bounding box of the object. I can also offset the wrap in all directions. I can click the up arrow next to the top offset and you'll see that it's moving the wrap up away from the object. I can do the same thing with the wrap below. Let me make that just a little bit less. Now I'm going to click the up arrow next to the left offset and it's offsetting to the left and do the same thing to the right. And let's get to the next wrap, which is wrap around object shape. And I'm going to apply that instead of a bounding box wrap to this object. And you can see absolutely nothing changes. The reason why is the shape of the object is the same as the bounding box, so it's really no different in this case. But let me select this Singer image and apply a wrap around bounding box wrap to it. And you can see it literally is wrapping the bounding box. I want it to wrap the shape. And watch what happens when I click Wrap Around Object Shape. It's now wrapping the shape of the object. When you have a Wrap Around Object Shape wrap, there is only one offset if it's not a rectangle. Let me show you. And you can see I'm increasing the offset slightly all the way around. Let's go to the next kind of wrap, which is jump object. Let me show you what that's about. I'm just going to click on it and you can see anywhere that that object crosses into a column, it will jump that object and continue afterwards. What about this? Jump to next column. It's jumping the text after the object to the top of the next column. I'm going to go back to wrap around object shape. Something that was introduced in recent versions of InDesign is the ability to wrap an object that's on a master page. Like, for instance, this object with the sunset. I can't select it because it's a master page object. It's locked. So I'm going to go to my Pages panel and double click on A Master to go to my master. Now I can select it just by clicking on it and apply a wrap to that master page object. I'm going to choose the third wrap button from the left, which is Wrap Around Object Shape and I'm just going to increase the offset. You can see because it's not a rectangle, there is only one offset. It's the same all the way around. Let me go back to my Pages panel and just double click on page one, and you can see now it is wrapping that object from the master page. One thing I skipped in the text wrap panel invert, which is right now grayed out because I don't have anything selected. Let me scroll down to page number two, and I'm going to select this graphic of what looks like a curvy shape or a piece of paper, and I'm going to apply a shape wrap to it. And it already has an offset, and you can see it's just kicking the text outside of the frame. At the bottom, it's overrunning. But I wonder if there's a way to make the text wrap to the inside of what it's wrapping around right now. If I click Invert, it's going to wrap that text 
to the inside, but I'm not entirely done yet. Right now, it's wrapping to the bounding box. I want to wrap it to an alpha channel from my Photoshop file. Let me do that. And you can see now it is actually wrapping to the inside of the wrapped object, and it's offset a certain amount away. It's using the alpha channel to wrap the transparency, the edge of the transparency, in this object and pushing it in because it's inverted and inset in 0.3125 inches. We're going to be talking more about text wraps in the next lesson.